Good morning, third grade mathematicians. So welcome to module one, lesson 13. Um, remember, um, we're looking for the 13. Uh, name up at the top, make sure you put your name. Um, it makes it a lot easier when you turn stuff in. This is multiplying and dividing by two. Remember, multiplication and division go together. So if you know that two times two is two groups of two or two plus two, that would equal four. So when you look at division, this is your total amount. How many groups of two would you have if you divided that six into two? Or two times what would give you that six? So that's one way to think about multiplication and division and how they go together. All right, so we're gonna bring it down here. Tape diagrams today, I love tape diagrams. Mrs. Ford puts three ladybugs into each cage. Three ladybugs. How many cages does she have? So we're gonna cage up our ladybugs. There's a group of three. There's a group of three, there's a group of three, and there's a group of three. So when we're starting off with, this is division right here. When we're starting out with a division, we need to do the whole number first. So we have three, six, nine, 12 ladybugs. So we have a total of 12 ladybugs. So Mrs. Ford has 12 ladybugs. She's dividing them into three ladybugs per cage. So she's dividing them into groups of three. So how many groups are we going to have? One, two, three, four groups. So draw and label a tape diagram to represent the problem with the ladybugs. So she has three ladybugs. So I'm gonna draw two more ladybugs. I am not drawing out the ladybugs right now. If you wanna draw actual ladybugs, you can. But she has three in each cage, just like in our tape diagram. So this shows us that in one group, we have three ladybugs. This bracket down here shows us that we have a total of 12 ladybugs. All right, so we're gonna pop on over here to the next one, number two. Jesse has six pairs of binoculars. This gets a little confusing because we're talking about like a pair of socks or a pair of pants. Even though there's kind of two parts to it, it's still one object. So there's six pairs of binoculars. He puts them equally into two boxes for a field trip. How many pairs would he put in each box? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to figure out how many boxes or how many, how many would fit in each box. I'm actually gonna come straight down here to the tape diagram. I think this is easier. So he's gonna put them equally into two boxes. So I'm gonna divide my tape diagram into two boxes. So I'm gonna say we have one here, one set of binoculars here and one set of binoculars here. So I'm gonna cross them off as I go. One there, one there. Another one, another one. Another one on this side. Another one on this side. Another one over here. This is why I like tape diagrams. I find them very good, They're a great way to organize my material. All right, so there's my two boxes and now I know how many are in each box. I'm gonna come up to this division problem. Division, you start out with the what? Whole amount. One, two, three, four, five, six pairs of binoculars divided into two boxes. How many are in each box? One, two, three in each box. So they want us to draw and label the tape diagram. Well, we already did that. Um, if you went through and you wanted to circle your binoculars and put them into two boxes, you can do that too. You don't have to. But now we gotta come down here and draw and label a tape diagram. So we wanna know how many are in. So in this we have three, and I'm coming back up here for the word binoculars. B-I-N-O-C-U-L-A-R-S. Because it wants to know how many are in each group. There's three in each group. For a total of six binoculars. And I should spell this right because it's a right in front of your face word. And right in front of your face words means I don't have to guess. It's right in my problem. All right, number three. Some friends spend $12 all together on pizza. Each person pays $3. How many people buy the pizza? So I'm going to make groups of three. So I've got one, two, three. That's one person. One, two, three. That's another person. One, two two, three, that's another person, and one, two, three, that's another person. So for this one, we're gonna have 12 people, because that's how many people, $12, I'm sorry, $12 all together. 
then we know that each person pays $3. I'm going right back to the problem. So there's my three, or there's my 12. There's three in each group. How many groups do I have? One, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna divide, we're gonna do our tape diagram. So we are going to do this one, two, three, four groups. We already figured this out from the picture. So I'm gonna try to drive, divide this as equally as possible. When you do a tape diagram, you're gonna do three lines for four boxes. So I have one, two, three, four boxes. I divided them pretty equally. Now I'm gonna divide $12 um, between each one. So I'm gonna do axis. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, so right here it wants us to start, there's gonna be how many in each box? I'm gonna do three. I don't have to write the dollars because I put dollar sign. And then there's a total of 12. Hi everybody. Um, I know my number three looks a little, little weird right now because my other paper got wet. So we're just gonna jump in where we left off. So this was $12 because the whole tool, um, tape diagrams for $12. Tommy makes 15 s'mores. Each of his friends eats three. How many friends ate s'mores? So I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have 15 s'mores. So we're gonna make groups of three because he has 15 total eating groups of three. So we're gonna make groups of three. So we are circling each group of three. Oh, oh I almost messed that one up because I wasn't paying attention. Groups of three. Good morning, Mrs. Wyckoff. All right, so when you do a division, you start out with the what? You start out with the whole amount. So there are a total of 15 s'mores, and I got that out of the problem. We're gonna know that each friend eats three. So. How many friends ate the s'mores? So we put three in each group. How many groups do we have? One, two, three, four, five. 15 divided by three is five. Now we're gonna draw and label a tape diagram to represent the problem. So we're gonna do, we already know our groups. One, two, three, four, five groups. I'm gonna try to divide my groups equally on my tape diagram. I'm gonna draw four lines for five boxes of well, let's put our s'mores in. So let me double check. One, two, three, four, five. Notice how I tried to break my tape diagram up as easily as, as evenly as possible because we're dividing them into equal groups. So I'm gonna do 15, but I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, putting one in each box. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice job. So this line up here wants to know how many are in each box. So there are three s'mores in each box and we have a total of 15 s'mores. All right, one more problem to go. There are 21 students at lunch. They sit in groups of three on each bench. How many benches are there? So we have a total of 21 students. They sit in groups of three. How many benches are there? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start out my problem. We know the 21's our total amount. We're dividing them into groups of three. So we have a couple of options here. What I like to do when I have a tape diagram and I don't know how many there are, I like to make my, um, I like to do my groups of three. So I'm gonna do a group of three. So that's three. And then I'm gonna close it out. So my tape diagram might not be totally even this time, but that's okay. So that's three, four, five, six. That's another group. Seven, eight, nine. There's another group. 10, 11, 12. There's another group. I'm gonna stop when I get to 21. So I'm at 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So it was actually came out pretty even for me. So we have three in each group. So those are students, there's 21 total. How many groups do I have? I have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven groups. I have seven benches or seven groups of kids. All right, mathematicians, have a great afternoon.